Months after we began investigating concerning our investigation concerning chemicals in children's car seats, lawmakers finally took the matter up on Capitol Hill and the regulators were on the hot seat. Julie Watts explains. There have been health and safety concerns related to the flammability standards for children's car seats. It's the first chance lawmakers have had to question the feds about a 44-year-old flammability regulation that critics say needlessly exposes kids to concerning even cancer-causing flame retardants in car seats. Chemicals that we demonstrated can also end up inside the children who use them. The response from Transportation Secretary Fox, who oversees the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, nearly word for word. Afford adequate time for caregivers to help children escape a vehicle in the event of a fire. The same response the agency gave us months ago. We've since revealed NHTSA has no data to indicate its 1972 standard provides any safety benefit in car seats. In fact, the agency admits it's never even tested it. But when we did, we found car seat samples with flame retardants that do meet NHTSA's standard performed worse than one that does not. But instead of acknowledging a flaw, the DOT passed the buck. NHTSA's safety standard for flammability does not require flame retardants. Though NHTSA does require an open flame test, which manufacturers say requires they add flame retardants to car seats. A test fire scientists say is irrelevant unless a fire is ignited under the child inside the car seat. About 194,000 vehicle fires occur annually. Also misleading since scientists say the standard only impacts non-intentional car fires ignited in upholstered material, which only account for about 3% of all fires. And there's no indication any ever began inside a child's car seat. Now, due to limited time and many pressing transportation issues, lawmakers did not ask follow-up questions. Though Senator Kelly Ayotte uh, has called for a separate hearing to further discuss this spe specific issue, she and committee chair Senator Thune also sent a letter to NHTSA, to the NHTSA administrator, uh, with some follow-up questions. So we will be following yeah. up when we get those answers. And the most obvious question, we, had, we talked about this off-camera, is why do you need flame retardant mm -hmm. chemicals in a kid's car seat. Well, Your car's on fire, you've got other problems. That's what fire scientists say, that no amount of flame retardant in a car seat is going to prevent a real-world car fire. The flames are just too large. Right. Yeah. All right. Julie, thank you.